Hello, this is Alex from Centaurus Computers and here's a quick review of MSI B350M Gaming Pro motherboard. Uh, those motherboards are very popular, they're not really expensive and uh, with popularity of Ryzen either is good or not, uh, it's very high now, so a lot of people will want to know more about these boards. That's the box, it says PCI Express 3.0, overclocking support, regular stuff. A few words on uh, B350 chipset. Uh, we think that B350 is the best chipset for Ryzen platform as A320 doesn't support overclocking and overclocking just gives you too many options that you don't want to miss. Even if you don't plan on overclocking, you can, you know, undervolt your processor uh, to make it cooler, for example, but you need uh, overclocking features for that. And X370 is considerably, considerably more expensive for just a few like PCI Express lanes or extra PCI Express 16X slot if you want to run dual video cards, but uh, again, we recommend the best single video card you can afford at this moment, and if it's not enough, then you can get dual video cards. So for most people, B350 is going to be the best choice. Uh, considering all the options it offers, uh, the performance, overclocking, um, and everything else. Here in the back, uh, DDR4, 1.6 DDR4 performance, well, that's nothing, just two DDR4 slots here, which is not not excellent. Steel armor, uh, which is, we, we really love it on MSI boards. You can see it's a steel reinforced PCI Express 16x slot for heavy video cards and it helps a lot. Turbo M.2, 32 gigabit per second high speed, so it supports NVMe SSDs. Mystic Light extension, extend your style. There is a 4 pin connection for uh, different LED kind of lights um, and you can choose your own color. Audio boost for better sound, uh, game and land, I mean, right. easy debug. LED, which is nice too. There are four LEDs that can tell you if either component like uh, the video card, memory processor are bad or if there is a problem during boot, which could be your motherboard. X Boost ready for gaming or streaming. It's all the average stuff. Nothing special here. Let's open the box. Nice packaging. It looks really nice as well. Hard to pull with one hand. Let's see what else is there. Rear I.O. shield, two SATA connectors, uh, SATA cables, one of them is angled, another one is straight. Drivers, some labels for uh, your internal cabling, registration card, warranty, manual, and they include this now everywhere. It's basically saying that you want to use um, RAM slots further from the CPU. So in this case, you would use your second uh, RAM slot first, and if you have two RAM sticks, you will use both slots. If you have four slots, you use second and fourth first, and then the rest of them. So this is it. And let's get to the motherboard itself. Little sticker. Okay, let's see what we've got here. 4 pin connection for the CPU, so you can provide a lot of power for the processor for overclocking purposes. Regular AM4 socket, you can remove these screws and leave the back plate for stock AM4 coolers. Two RAM slots, and uh, as far as I remember, it's 3200 MHz RAM support. 24 uh, pin connection for power. SATA, 1, 2, 3, 4 either vertical or horizontal location here. Just four ports, well, it could have been six, but usually four is enough for most people, especially since most don't use uh, like DVDs or anything. And one SSD and one hard drive is gonna be just perfectly fine. Heatsink, that reinforced PCI Express slot, really nice here, M.2, uh, that supports all the possible length of it. USB 3.0, front panel connections. Okay. It's really hard to see that red printing on black, but this top four pin connector here, this one is going to be for LEDs, uh, like our lighting for Asus and Mythic Light on 
uh, MSI and uh, if you got a stock cooler for this processor uh, like Spire, uh, Wraith Spire it has got LEDs and you can control the lighting on it and that's where you will want to connect it and pretty much the same connector but that's gonna be your little 4-pin speaker uh, two blocks of USB 2.0 connectors so you can add uh, four more USB 2.0 connectors LPT come uh, another fan connector here audio as for the fan connectors it's not much just your CPU fan connector here one CP uh, well, system fan one connector here and system fan two here so two system fans and one CPU fan, which is not a lot. Okay, what else is here? You can use this to PCI Express 1x slots for expansion cards. Nice heat sink here on the front. I'm not sure if it lights up or not, but uh, there is an LED trace here. That part lights up. And USB 2.0 connectors, PS2, VGA, TVI, HDMI, and four. 3.0 connectors with Ethernet and audio. Uh, again, it's a very nice motherboard. It's Micro ATX, so it will fit in pretty much any case. Very nice, nice looking, quite a few features, um, and given its low price, it's one of the best choices. Hopefully, it will not give us any problems in the future, like stability problems or anything, because we really like that board so far. Thank you for watching and have a great day.